Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to dive deep into the trading strategy that our bot will use to execute trades. This strategy is based on candlestick patterns and volume analysis combined with precise risk management. We'll go through each step of the strategy, explain the logic behind it, and see how it all ties together. Let's get started. Our strategy begins with identifying specific market conditions using candlestick patterns and volume analysis. Think of candlesticks as snapshots of market sentiment over a given period. Here's what we're looking for. We need to check if the previous two candlesticks are the same color, either red or green. Additionally, the volume of these candles should be greater than the average volume of the last five candles. Imagine we're looking at a five minute chart. If the last two five minute candles are green, and their volume is higher than the average volume of the last five five minute candles, our conditions are met for a buy. If the last two five minute candles are red, and their volume is higher than the average volume of the last five five minute candles, our conditions are met for a sell. This indicates strong momentum in either direction. When we see two consecutive green candles with high volume, we place a market buy order. We'll be trading futures with leverage, which amplifies our potential gains and losses. For this strategy, we'll start with a leverage of 10x, but this can be adjusted based on our risk tolerance and market conditions. Let's say the price of Bitcoin rose from $30,000 to $3,500 over the last two candles. If our volume conditions are met, we'll place a market buy order with 10x leverage, expecting the upward momentum to continue. Conversely, when we see two consecutive red candles with high volume, we place a market sell order with 10x leverage, anticipating the downward momentum to continue. If the price of Bitcoin dropped from $30,000 to $29,500 over the last two candles and our volume conditions are met, we'll place a market sell order with 10x leverage, expecting the downward momentum to continue. Risk management is crucial. For every trade, we set a stop loss, 2%, and a take profit at 5%. This means if the price moves against us by 2%, we cut our losses. Conversely, if the price moves in our favor by 5%, we secure our profits. Continuing our previous examples, if we bought Bitcoin at 30,500, our stop loss would be at 29,890, a 2% drop, and our take profit would be at 32,025, a 5% rise. If we sold Bitcoin at 29,500, our stop loss would be at 30,090, a 2% rise and our take profit would be at 28,025, a 5% drop. Once we place the trade, we continuously monitor the position to see if our SL or TP levels are hit. This is akin to being a vigilant lifeguard, always ready to take action. If Bitcoin quickly moves up to 32,025, our TP is hit, and we close the trade with a profit. If it drops to 29,890, our SL is hit, and we close the trade to limit our losses. After closing a position, whether it's a win or a loss, we take a 15 minute break before resuming trading. This pause allows us to reset and avoid the pitfalls of overtrading. If we closed a trade at 10.15 a.m., our bot would wait until 10.30 a.m. before scanning the market for the next opportunity. In summary, our strategy revolves around identifying strong momentum through candlestick patterns and volume analysis placing leveraged futures trades, and managing risk with strict SL and TP levels. This approach helps us capitalize on potential reversals while safeguarding against significant losses. In the next video, we'll start coding this strategy into our trading class. Understanding and implementing this strategy effectively can make a significant difference in our trading performance. Take your time to grasp these concepts and feel free to ask any questions in the comments.